So in terms of volatility, I mean, it seems as if from the folks that we've just been speaking to, they anticipate continued volatility for at least another one to two years, if not longer, particularly with what we're seeing happening with central banks, the stronger dollar, et cetera. Is the West getting it right in your mind? Well, you know, oil, oil price volatility, um, power price volatility, um, clearly, clearly gas is, is the most affected by, um, uh, by the consequences of the war. The oil, the oil sector is rerouting flows there's not been any substantial disruption uh, in terms of the amount of barrels flowing. So the volatility is really coming from uh, the geopolitical actions, uh, the sanctions. But, but I think it's, um, you know, I, I think I said uh, before, uh, before, before these events even started, you know, 2022 was setting up to be a relatively tight uh, market from an S&D point of view. Now, that's translated in that was always going to translate into higher prices but obviously it's translated into uh, perhaps even higher prices because of the geopolitical points but but on the demand side demand has shifted from our perception in Q1 uh, we're about two million barrels a day less demand today than we were expecting to be in the fourth quarter as a result of the economic uh, pain that's being felt around the globe from from inflation, interest rates, and uh, energy costs. Yes. It's not just energy costs; it's a it's a whole uh, it's a whole array of things. But um, but yeah, that that demand will come back, and that w demand will come back possibly second half of 23. You know, China's got to open up at some point. Nobody knows when, but but second half of 23, going into 24, you expect further um, improvements in demand, and obviously you need the supply side to keep pace with that uh, re with that recovery in demand and if you don't have the two growing in balance you'll have uh, you'll have volatility so um, so hopefully there's uh, you know there, there is some investment there is some spare capacity uh, and that will be probably the market will probably call on that in the second half of 23 and going into 24 because we're gonna we're gonna restore to some pretty high demand levels when you know when the economy of, uh, of China reopens.